Live. Good morning. So, is full fat yogurt better than fat free yogurt? I'm trying to increase my protein. That was a question I had the other day. Now, this is a 5% fat, so you can actually get 10%. So, this is a 5% Greek yogurt here. Now, this is a good source of protein. So, per 100 grams is uh, 9 grams of protein. So, per 100 grams, 9 grams of protein and 95 calories. Now, if I had the fat free one though, it would simply be the same amount, so milk poured in, they skim away the fat, and as there's a bit of a gap, this more milk in, skim away the fat. It's essentially the same thing, but with the fat skimmed off. So therefore, I would actually have more protein, 10 grams of protein, but for 57 calories, which is essentially like saying, I get one gram more protein for literally, not quite, nearly half the calories. So if you want to increase your protein intake, actually, fat-free yogurt would be higher in protein per calorie. For example, full fat here, I'm getting nine grams of protein for 95 calories, which is still good. But fat-free, I'm getting 10 grams of protein for 57 calories. So you've got to look at it. If you're trying to increase your protein intake, actually the fat-free yogurt may be a better option. And also just consider sometimes there's this, this uh, belief around a full fat must be better though. We, we, we say with Greek yogurt, no, full fat is better. Why? Why well, it's got sugar added into it. No, it's just milk. All is the only ingredient here. No added ingredients, no added sugar. The yogurt contains only milk's naturally occurring sugar, lactose. It contains milk and the following live cultures, bacteria, lactobacillus, etc. So it actually only contains milk. There's no extra added sugar, it's just from the milk. So what, what is it about it? It's, it is a, merely a belief, quite often. It's like full fat must be um, better. And, and of course, the, some evidence and research shows that full fat is, is, is fine. And dairy, full fat does seem to be the anomaly. Like if you compare it to um, animal fat, it does seem to be, there seems to be something, something different around outcomes and health outcomes. However, one thing to consider is when we eat like cheese, everyone's like, oh no, cheese is just full of fat. I don't want to eat cheese, that'll make me fat. Which is wrong as well, we know it's total calories. But then when we eat Greek yogurt, we're like, no, no, we've got to have full fat yogurt, it's healthier. Yeah. It's all coming from milk at the end of the day. So sometimes it's about squashing our beliefs. Sometimes it's about looking at what is our goal. If our goal is to increase our protein intake, going fat-free Greek yogurt, well, rather than 5%, it's probably gonna be a good thing. So it's a little way to increase your protein intake. But I quite like this 5%, it's still pretty good and high in protein anyway. And, um, but if I'm really trying to increase my protein intake, I'll go for um, the fat free. So I hope that helps. I hope that gives you a few ideas and perspective to challenge those beliefs sometimes that sometimes hold us back. Like we might just be having full fat for no other reason other than we think it's higher in protein. And I spoke to someone the other day and they thought it was because everyone bangs on about it being really good and everyone bangs on about protein being really good. And they were like, oh, I'll just have fat free then. If that halves the calories for the same amount of protein, win-win. So, I hope that helps. If you found it helpful, do you like it? Share it with someone who may need to hear that. I might squash some beliefs. Because at the end of the day, it's about what you do on average that counts. It's not about being perfect, it's about those small changes. If that's a small change that helps keep you more full up, make you more satisfied, helps you hit a calorie deficit, which helps you lose body fat, get the results you want, then that's great. And that are the likes, likes of the tweaks we do in our kickstart, but only if it works for you.